crisis in Egypt and a call for help from Christians living in the middle of the chaotic storm that has erupted in that crucial country. Churches signaling they've been attacked and fear more is coming. As today the president expressed concern and announced a change in America's plans. ABC's Mohammed Leela, who covers this region, has all of it for us from Cairo tonight. It's striking terror into the heart of Egypt's Christian community. By some counts, dozens of churches attacked, some accusing Christians of siding with the military. An angry mob burst through the gates, others looted. Stories of nuns escaping out the back door. We spoke to one woman, her church doused in gasoline. It's completely black. The statues and the paintings are on the ground mostly. The tinted glass, it is heartbreaking. Others fearful it's not over. I'm scared for my friends, my, for my Christian friends. This is our life. Today, President Obama weighing in. We call on those who are protesting to do so peacefully and condemn the attacks that we've seen by protesters, including on churches. In the wake of the military's bloody crackdown with more than 600 dead, Obama canceled a joint military exercise but didn't stop the flow of $1.3 billion America gives Egypt every year. Despite the bloodshed, Egypt is seen as too important to the U.S., helping keep peace in a violent region and fighting terror. Facts not lost on the families of the dead. This is murder. You, you, you can't kill your own people and get away with it. All day at this makeshift morgue, empty caskets streamed in and coffins with bodies streamed out. Standing here, you can feel the anger rising in the air. Every minute, new bodies are being carried out. As we pushed our way inside, the stench of death surrounding us, this woman tells us America will pay the price for this massacre, saying the next terrorists will come from the families of those who were killed here. And on the way out, a chilling message. The crowd chanting the Arabic words, Mot Silmiya. In other words, Egypt's peace is dead. Mohammed Lila, ABC News in Cairo.